Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make an album cover like Plaque by Max. Now, Max just dropped a brand new album called Five Forever, and the album cover is really sick. The spray paint, everything. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create something similar to it. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to say I have a buy one, get one free sale going on right now. If you guys do want to go ahead and pick up the Ultimate Adjustment Pack and the Mixed Media Pack, make sure you guys do go ahead and check it out below. All right, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is create, you know, your new document. So, 3000 by 3000 pixels i'm pretty sure it is the best like the standard anyways uh if your pc can't handle this you know just bring it down a bit to like 2000 maybe uh you should be good bring the resolution to 300 uh back on the white now once you have your document all set up what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab your images now i'm going to be using similar images to the actual cover art so i'm going to be using this speaker kind of background similar to plaque by max's album cover but this video isn't supposed to act as a one-to-one -one, uh kind of scenario make sure you guys get creative with this shit you know you can really just do whatever you want i'm just doing this you know just for the example right you can switch the background up uh switch the positions up but for the sake of the video you know platform you know i'm just doing it i'm just doing it the same position same everything all right we got this image of laser dim you know basically the same position as plaque by max but yeah what we're going to do here is basically just remove the background of our main image so if you don't have this little toolbar here you can go up to window and you can scroll all the way down it should be the last thing here contextual taskbar just click on that and you should get this removed background and just click on it there now once you have it removed you might want to go ahead and actually clean it up so there's some parts here like in this like hand right here you know i'm just gonna erase and then once you have that you can go ahead and convert to a smart object now because there's these kind of like light points i guess and where the remove background kind of like couldn't get what i'm gonna do is is literally just right click on the thumbnail here so on the box go to select pixels we're going to go to select modify and we're going to contract and we're going to do like three and then we'll make a layer mask and they should remove most of it and we're just going to put that to a smart object again we're going to scale them up now i'm going to have him about about there roughly you know give or take uh obviously with your image if you want you know you can put them over here you can put them over there you know i like I like experimenting you know do what you want do what you want with it right? now for the background if your background is kind of black or darkish basically you just want to bring the brightness up a little bit just like that you know just simple you know nothing, nothing too crazy right just a little simple but we're gonna go ahead and get started on the graffiti kind of spray paint look uh, there's two ways you can do this you can do this the black boy max way or my way my way is basically just a soft brush so basically put this to 200 like 200 to 300 is probably like the sweet spot what you want to do is is literally just grab your color here and you want to draw your logo so i'm just going to make one up uh we're just going to do like a stylized l a d and then a seven like something something fire like but once you have this you want to make a new layer above it and you want to come up here come to your brushes you want to scroll down i'm going to leave a link down below to these spray paint kind of brushes completely free you know you don't have to pay anything for these basically what you want to do is literally just grab them and you want to start matching up kind of like areas where you can like spray paint them all right so like these parts here i can spray paint and it will give them like these particle effects uh so like these little points at the end i don't know what to call them like the corners i guess i don't know yeah just you just want to go around doing these um and in this pack specifically there's a couple of them so you can just you know experiment try them out do something like that something like this we can grab this one even just like make a point in the middle of these boom just get this really sick effect and there's one really specific one this uh drip one that i really like and i'm pretty sure was probably used this exact one was probably used in the actual cover but yeah 
like i said you know you just want to drip them down you just want to top around now once you have your you know spray paint all ready uh you just want to select these two layers so your actual logo and then spray paint just select them hold shift select both of them and then control g to make a group we're gonna control j to duplicate and then control e which will uh merge them now once you have this we're gonna hide the group and we're gonna put this to linear dodge we can bring the fill down just a little bit just so it's kind of like blended in with the speakers now that's the first way the next way is obviously you know going ahead and using the actual logo all right so once you have your logo dragged in and colored what you want to do is literally the exact same thing make a new layer above this layer and then you just want to top boom top boom top boom change the size and all that to you know whatever you want uh we're just gonna keep doing the same thing just grab the different types of brushes just, just do them anywhere literally just you know whatever whatever you want to do do i uh, nobody's stopping yet so something like this uh will work it will do uh we're just gonna merge these together put this to linear dodge like before and we're gonna bring this down uh, this will give us like a little you know clean effect all right this is a really really nice clean effect now personally i enjoy this style more like that's just me depending on the logo obviously it might look really sick so just you know do whatever you guys find to be the best for your eyes and that might sound a bit philosophical i guess maybe next thing we're gonna do is grab a black brush so to reset your colors just press d it will bring it back to black and white and we're just gonna make a little vignette kind of around the the whole canvas i guess actually we'll bring this behind them but yeah we're just gonna make a little small vignette like this bring the fill down a little bit now for this i'm gonna be going into my ultimate adjustment pack so i'm gonna go ahead and pick this neutral purple which i really really enjoy and we're gonna kind of scale it or bring it back into place here like so and you know i'm just gonna bring the gradient map down a bit because it's a bit too dark we already have a gradient map on here uh basically just a gray purple orange and a white this is just a color kind of adjustment just to kind of color correct it we got a vibrance here you know bring the vibrance down because you know it, it's a bit too vibrant sometimes you can mess around with it see what you know looks best right we got brightness contrast bring the brightness up to about 50 contrast up to about 20 and then we have exposure just bring the exposure up gamma correction up a little bit now the texture here is just a color fill i'm going to show you guys how to actually make that so you want to come down here to this adjustment tab here by the way this is how you actually get all these adjustments so if you guys are wondering you were like how do i get these this is how you get them so if you click on vibrance you know you're going to get vibrance that's how you get them all right we're going to go ahead and click on solid color we're going to put this to gray and we're going to go to filter noise add noise convert and you can put this to about 23 uniform you can do monochromatic or you can keep it colored i like to keep it colored nowadays you know i know it's just a really sick nice clean look so we're gonna put that to overlay uh we can bring the fill down just a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and darken down here just because you know i don't like it being like too i don't like it being too kind of like free i don't know i don't know how to explain this shit bro i want to fade it out all right but anyways that's basically the whole cover art for you guys like i said before you know get creative with this shit you know i gave you guys a blueprint for the whole spray paint effect now if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys leave a like subscribe and comment down below ld7 if you made it this far i want to see who actually be watching the fucking videos uh yeah peace